working on some things uh, we found out yesterday so I went ahead and ordered a rooster tiller and uh, tiller extension and the problem is is it's too long okay so I took it out racing yesterday spoke with their customer service department he said essentially find out where the best kind of place is that you like and then um, you can go ahead and cut the carbon um, from there so this is essentially um, a DIY project which is kind of nice because I can customize it exactly for me out there so yesterday I went out um, as you see in the video and found where I needed to be and essentially I needed to I counted seven stripes in so one two three four five six seven um, we're gonna essentially chop right about there that's about nine and a half inches um, but we're not going to cut this side. We're actually going to cut this side. So I'm going to measure nine inches from here, cut it off, um, and then go ahead and, and re-drill the hole for the bushing, which essentially is for this. Um, and then the other thing he recommended was to detach these after your races because what ends up happening is this will, so you can already see it's starting to bend. I've had it for maybe three days and it starts to bend in a way that sits back here. So if you accidentally drop this, um, it's going to go swinging uh, backwards and you're going to have to reach back and grab it and it becomes a, a lot harder whereas if you detach it it'll end up swing if you drop it it'll just swing in your lap and just drop right in your lap so anyways nice little tidbit um, but really really nice carbon fiber tiller and extension both bought from rooster over in the uk um, but a lot of dealers will carry them anywhere they do measure out three uh, different diameters for your hand this is uh, the one kind of right in the middle i think it's 22 but i'm not sure it's the it's the middle one um, some people like the really small one because then they can grip the sheet easier kind of depends on the size of your hand really from what i hear uh, so anyways a lot of olympic guys my height, size, width, all that, all use this middle one. So I ended up getting this one. So I'll give it a go for a season, see how I like it. Um, they're kind of expensive, they're like 160 bucks. This is like 150 bucks, so about $300 just to get a new steering wheel, right? Um, so it'd be nice to be able to go out and try different ones and figure out which one you like the best before buying it. Um, but I don't have that kind of money sitting around. so. We'll, we'll check this out. I'm going to go ahead and I wanted to show you guys this so that way you can do it yourself and um, you don't have to go through all the headaches and hiccups that I went through in trying to figure out um, you know, who to speak to, what to get. I'm going to log the video in the description below and that way you guys can kind of go right to uh, the description that changes out the bushing because I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to end up doing here guys is just sawing this with a hacksaw. That's all you're going to need and a um, uh, redrill the hole for the bushing to go in um, at that nine and a half inches or ten inches where you want to go. Just remember, um, you, you can always cut more. You, you can't go backwards. So just just take it easy. I thought I needed ten. I'm gonna do nine and a half. I'm actually sorry, I'm gonna do nine. And then later, if I feel when uh, I'm racing, I need a little bit more. I can always come back and do that. So not the end of the world. Here's a little hole we have to drill uh, from the old hole. And then, yeah, we're going to get busy. Let's do it. All right, so we've uh, measured out. Essentially, it's eight knobs from when I was out in the water yesterday. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so roughly the ball is going to go, or seven, sorry, and roughly the ball is going to go here. So let's go ahead and cut at the um, seven mark, which really will put us at, kind of nine all day because that's where we want to to make the cut Curve it in, bring it right to that line. I know it's right at that hole. So we're at nine right there. That's how much we're coming off. Um, and just make sure with the hacks there you go straight and you should probably be able to do it. Just keep it in the middle.
okay? And I would keep this, I don't know, pretty expensive stuff, carbon fiber, so super light. Probably make a mount or something out of it. Um, but there you have it. It's not the straightest cut. Um, it's actually off to the side just a bit. So I may go ahead and take a, a big sand file and file this down. Yeah, if you have one of these, uh, they're pretty handy. I, I use this thing all the time, man. I kind of bought it randomly. I didn't usually buy things when you need them. And uh, I found out later I needed this a lot. So. Yeah, it's almost not worth recutting um, because it's such a tiny thing. So. No, yeah, that'll work. All right, next thing we gotta do is drill this this hole essentially for the bushing. We know it's about quarter way in. Get a tiny one. Remember, you can always go bigger later but you can't go backwards once you're uh, too big you don't want it too big because then the bushing won't hold properly so that's like perfect maybe one more up yeah that's perfect that literally is perfect I think we found her um, just take the old hole and put it in I mean it's it doesn't get any better than that as far as a matchup so the other thing I think we need to do, make sure, so there's a sleeve on the outside of this bushing and that actually will move. I took, I centered it up with the new one, kept it just as if and then slowly took it off that way I know it's where it should be and then I left it there. Uh, but when you take the whole thing off, after you get done racing, you take this whole thing off. So we're going to go ahead and slide this sleeve in. Um, yeah, I think that's good. I think uh, we just drilled the new bushing where this hole is. So let's figure that one out for a second. How are we going to get into that same hole, you know? Yeah, I, I guess you could just do that. Just drill an entirely new hole in the bushing sleeve. Don't worry about that. Because how else are you going to get it perfectly lined up? I mean, you could try, but you're never really going to know. And then you don't want to double, like a miss, and then you have a twice big hole. So you may as well just turn that thing like so, slide it in, and what's, uh, what's also really useful to have is this screw so you know how much you're going to drill through, right? You don't want to do too much. So roughly we're going to go to that second line on the drill because that's going to be our bushing screw. Alright, just an uh, electric drill, get your drill bit that fit, remember we went through the bushing to see how it's perfect, so we're going to use this one. Just electric drill. They say a uh, compact high. We looked at the other carbon tube. It's, uh, I'm going to go right here. We're going to call it right here. I always go slow and then. Kind of work your way up there, get your little pilot hole going. Make sure you're, you're straight as well. It made its way through. Cool. Awesome. So, I guess all we need to do now is drill through that bushing. And I don't even know if we want to drill through that bushing. I don't know if we want to drill through that bushing. Um, for the simple fact of we can let the the screw do it, right? You kind of want this to settle it. We have our pilot, so maybe that'll work. But maybe I'll give it just a little pilot hole to work with in the bushing. And that's it. Now we're going to go... We're gonna go screw time. Pilot hole, pilot hole. Now we just have to match up and uh, go for gold. Probably should take this out of this casing, to be honest with you, because we're gonna do that anyways. So let's just go ahead and do that. Maybe we can show you how that's done. I think it's just a easy, easy pop off. 
Remember it's carbon, so be gentle. Don't force it. And go once one side comes up, usually the other side will, will as well. And then you just put, you just actually push it out the uh, this side. See how it comes out. So it just comes out. Boop. So that's easy. And again, I would store it like this alone, not not inside, because look, it's this is brand new and it's already bending or store it to where it bends in one direction and then when you go to race flip it around so here we go let's try to drill in this bushing you just want to line up the hole get to the end and just starts to take hold go ahead and ease off the electric and grab a regular Phillips and then go ahead and tighten the end I wouldn't over tighten this I mean make sure it's in there but I would just do it by hand, take it easy. These are carbon pipes, so you don't want to bruise them or put more stress on it or strip the the hole. Then you got to make another hole, seal that hole. That would not be fun. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We now have our new customized tiller extension and tiller. That's exciting. And again, I would hold on to this too. You might be able to make a cool mount with it or something. Super light, super uh, strong. So, I don't know. Nice little camera mount or something. What do you think? <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you on the water. When you're it out.